Welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet and today we are going to be working on a rectangle basket. Uh, it's also known as a waistcoat basket and we're using a Hometown USA Lion Brand yarn number six super bulky using three coordinating colors. Okay now starting with the darker color we will make the base on the bottom we're working 35 chain. Then we will do half double crochets all the way across, starting in the second chain from the hook. So half double crochets all the way across, and you will end up with 34 half double crochets. At the end of the row, chain two, turn, and do another row of half double crochets starting in the first space. And remember you're going under the two strand chain, the chains that form at the top. Okay, in the first space and then all the way across and that will give you your 34 half double crochet count. And you will do this for a total of six rows. So you're just going to continue when you get to the end, chain two, turn, and continue with another row of half doubles. So you will have six total rows. Now we are going to work half double crochets all along the edges. And we're going to do 12 along the short side. They just have to be placed evenly across. And We'll go around, you'll do 20, 34, across the long edge, continue down the short edge for 12, so you're just going to do the three sides. Okay, we've come to the end of that third edge, entered the 12 along that last edge. Now we are going to slip stitch into that starting chain at the end there. Okay, slip stitch in there and then chain one. Now we're going to be working with single crochets and we're going to work in the third strand of the half double crochets. Okay, so you've got your two chain strands at the top and then below that is that third strand. This one trying to find that third loop can be a little bit tricky if you're a beginner. Okay, but the reason we're doing that is because that is what will cause the edge to stand up. The first one is even trickier than usual. Okay, so it's a single crochet Let me do a couple more and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now I'm going to turn this flat and you can see now by entering in that third strand is causing this row to stand right up. Okay, let me turn this around. It just automatically stands up all by itself and that's going to help you with the rows going up. Okay, so just continue all the way around, all four sides of this, working in that back loop. Okay, now we've gone all the way around and because you were entering into every stitch, you will have had 12 along the edges, 34 
along the long sides. Okay, so now there's the twelfth one along that last edge, and then you're going to slip stitch into this last space here where you slip stitched on the last row. And then you're going to chain one, and we're going to continue with the single crochets, but we're going to be using what is called the center single crochet, because you are entering your single crochets into the center of the single crochets in the row below. Okay, so rather than going into the sides, where you would normally go under that two strand chain, you're going to be going into the center of the single crochet below. That's what will form the hearts. Okay, we call it hearts because that's what makes this stitch look like it's knitted. Now I'm going to show you how this looks on the silver one that I had done previously because I think it's easier to see it in the lighter color. Here's the completed one that I did previously. So as you can see these little hearts are forming and it looks like it's a knit stitch. So you're entering the hook into the center of the single crochet in the row below. And you have to pay real close attention as you're doing this because it's so easy to go into the space next to it. Okay, so into the center. You can see a little V here. You're going to go the hook into there. Okay, now another little trick to help form those hearts. Okay, we're going to go into that first one. Pull through. And rather than yarn over from the back, we're going to yarn over from the front. Pull it through. Okay, so find the center of the single crochet below. Yarn over for a single crochet, and grab the yarn from the front, and pull it through. And that forms the little V of the single crochet. It's actually a center single. And you kind of have to do a stabbing motion. It's not smooth like you normally would find. You have to stab into that center. So again, go all the way around. 34 on the long sides, 12 on the short sides. Okay, after we complete five rows, of the center single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, we are going to change colors to the silver. Okay, so we're going to start the slip stitch. We've completed that last row of 12 along the short side. We're going to insert the hook for the slip stitch, and we're going to pull through the silver to complete that slip stitch. Then we're going to chain one, and we will continue. This time we'll do four rows of this color. Okay, so we'll continue with the center single crochets just as we've been doing. Now we've done the four rows 
of that medium shade and now we are going to pick up the white okay so we've completed that 12th single crochet and now we're going to do that slip stitch where we will introduce the white okay so insert the hook pull the white through and through the gray and then chain one and then we'll pick up the singles again now as you can see here it's so much easier to see what you're doing with the lighter colors okay so you just stab it in through the center of that single crochet below and continue with your single crochets for three rows Okay, after we're done with that third row in white, we're going to do the final fourth row in white. And you're going to enter 13 center single crochets, just like before. And then you're going to chain nine. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then you're going to skip eight single crochets below. Re-enter the hook. Again, I'll show you in a minute. Then work 38 center single crochets and then chain nine again. So when you enter your last, the 38th one here, you will chain nine. Skip eight for the hook in the next center single crochet, work your single crochet, then to complete it, you will work 25 more center single crochets and that'll take you back to the end. Then you'll chain one and I'll come back. Now we are going to work a border of reverse single crochet also known as a crab stitch this is a really cool stitch here and we're actually working backwards rather than going forward we're working backwards okay so just enter the hook into the spaces now the spaces between those hearts insert the hook yarn over pull the yarn through for a single crochet you've got the two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both loops and then continue enter into the next space yarn over pull through two loops on the hook for a single yarn over pull through both loops okay now we've reached the handle and you're just going to continue the same except now you're just entering the hook under the handle Pulling up the yarn, pull through for a single, and keep going. And you're going to enter as many of these as it takes to cover the handle until you get to the end of the handle. And then you'll just start entering in the spaces again. Continue all the way around, just as you have been. When you get to the end of the row, you want to join with a slip stitch into that beginning chain. And then that's it. You can just tie it off. Cut the yarn, weave in your ends, and then you're done. 